My name is David Wernick. I completed my PhD at UCLA and I've moved over to the Weizmann Institute to continue my research. My name is Ifat Mervel. I recently joined the immunology department at the Weizmann Institute of Science after coming back from doing my PhD and my postdoc studies at Harvard Medical School in Boston. I decided to join the Weizmann Institute after I came here for a brief visit. I realized that this is a great university to help continue research. It really has a strong focus around helping the researchers do the work that they need to do. There is a wonderful scientific community here. The infrastructure is amazing and it has all the cutting edge technologies that the, the world and scientific environment can provide. The organization is set up around helping me as the researcher and my colleagues continue to do the work that we need to do. Our lab studies changes in proteins that determine their function in cells and tissue. And these have a level of regulation which is largely not explored to date because the vast majority of focus is dedicated to the genome and the transcriptome, which is the DNA that we have in our cells and tissue and the genes that are being expressed. If we understand the changes in post-translational modification that contribute to disease progression, we can actually in the future try to control them and manipulate the cellular environment to hopefully prevent diseases or treat them. In our work we try to study molecular mechanisms behind the fixation and the assimilation of carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. So we're working with genetically modified E. coli that we're designing in the lab and figuring out what do we need to do to get them to consume carbon dioxide. This does have a lot of applications in renewable energy and creating sustainable energy, creating sustainable chemicals. If we're able to eat CO2, we can essentially use the CO2 that we have in the atmosphere as our source for all the energy and materials we want to produce. 